Today I will make a small comparison between diffuse goiter and nodular goiter. Feature number one is nomenclature. Diffuse goiter is also called simple goiter or hyperplastic goiter or non-toxic goiter. But nodular goiter is called multinodular goiter and it also called adenomatous goiter. Feature number two is etiology. The etiology of diffuse goiter is Graves' disease or thyroiditis or puberty. In the other hand, etiology of nodular goiter is endemic thyroiditis or cancer. Feature number 3 is pathogenesis. The pathogenesis of diffuse goiter is hyperplasia involution. But pathogenesis of nodular goiter is repeated cycles of hyperplasia with growth and involution with fibrosis. Feature number 4 is composition. The composition of diffuse goiter is rich in cells, but in nodular goiter is rich in colloid. Feature number 5 is gross appearance. In diffuse goiter, there are moderate, symmetric, diffuse enlargement, colloid filled follicles, and gelatinous. But in nodular goiter, there are nodular asymmetric, hemorrhages, scarring, cystic change, and calcification. Feature number 6 is microscopic features. In diffuse goiter there are hyperplastic phase, papillary enfoldings. And in volution stage, large colloid filled follicles with flat epithelium. But in nodular goiter, there are incomplete encapsulation, nodularity, variable sized follicles, fibrous scarring, hemorrhages, calcification, cyst formation. Feature number 7 is functional status. The functional status in diffuse goiter is hyperthyroidism, euthyroid. But the functional status in nodular goiter is hypothyroidism, euthyroid.